Hey, teachers. Getting our lovely students to talk in class, and let me just put it out there, is sometimes hard and frustrating. So maybe these couple of activities might help. Okay, my first activity is the classic two truths and one lie. But hold on a second. I've always used this activity as an icebreaker to let students get to know each other. But then I was like, no, I should absolutely put this activity aside for a time when I'm either too tired to prepare for a speaking activity or not in the mood to prepare for a speaking activity or both. However, I made a little adjustment to make it a real speaking activity activity that suits all levels. You probably know that each student should say three statements about themselves. Two of them should be true and one should be a lie. Their classmates then try to guess or with advanced learners question them to try to determine which statement is a lie. So I decided to do it but using categories. And instead of students telling us three random statements about themselves, they should follow the category or the topic I have for them for every round. I like to start with easy topics and make my way up. For example, our first topic is food, of course. Students have to say three statements related to food and one of them should be a lie. For instance, I like fish, I could never eat bread. I had cheese sandwich for breakfast today. Then we move to a second topic, which for example, shopping, then family. And with one group, we had K-pop and it was the best. I mean, just any topic you found suitable and your students would enjoy it. It's very lovely and fun this way. I really got to learn a bunch of crazy, silly, cool things about my students. And I also learned that my students are just great liars. If you have a large number of students, then divide the topics among them. For example, this group would talk about food, the other one would go with fashion and so on. So you could make sure everyone participates at least once or twice. My second activity, I honestly don't know what we should call it, but let's call it a news station. Don't freak out, it has nothing to do with news. This activity is great if you have a larger class. You'll divide them into groups, preferably groups of three or four. Tell them that, surprise, you own a news station and you're gonna cover a story. Give each a group a paper with random objects on it like this one. By the way, feel free to download it. The link is in the description. Anyway, tell them that one or two of you should be the news anchors and one of you should be the reporter and one or two should be the witnesses. They should come up with a story that has all of these items in it. It could be a murder story, a funny story, a happy story as they wish. Give them enough time to work together and prepare and at the end every group presents their story and they get to compare their story with the other stations and maybe yeah, they could vote for who had the best story and presentation. Students can get really creative here and you will just love it. That's pretty it. Thank you awesome teachers for watching.